Okay, this is the uh, the first video for our working on our uh, title project. And so the first thing I was going to mention is um, getting some images. Um, the first image I found was on Pexels. Um, I was doing sort of a romantic idea. I just got back from a wedding. Um, so here is a free download right here. And I imported the the JPEG into After Effects, so I have it here. And normally I would like drag it in here and uh, create, and that would create my uh, composition. However, I'm going to Command Z. I'm not going to do it this that way this time. I'm going to come down here and create a new composition on this button right over here because I want my size to be different than what that background is. And luckily, this is already showing up the size that I want. Um, which is more of a video size. So I'm going to do it 1280 by 720. I'm going to hit OK. And so now here I am in my comp window. So now I can bring my um, my my picture into the frame and see, you can see it's not quite the same size. You can see how much larger it is compared to the window. So I'm just going to shift. I'm going to grab one of these handles hit shift um, and get it closer to where I want it. Usually I don't have this much trouble with it. I don't know if I want a little bit of the grass showing, maybe you have it go down here. And I'm hitting my middle mouse button to kind of blow it up a little bit. Okay, so first thing I want to do is, since I want this to be a background, I want my text to show. I'm probably going to out of solid. So I'm going to do new solid. And I'm just and I'll just right click, hit new solid. And dark red, that's fine. Um, and I usually will try to click on the uh, color picker selector and look for a color on here somewhere. Um, maybe kind of a brown, a brick color, and maybe I'll do a little more of a, maybe I'll do a little more of a reddish, this reddish brick color. Get that deeper color there, and then, hit, and then you know, I'm going to, I'm going to I'm going to click on that color, so I want it to be a little bit darker. Let's get down in here, so I want the, I want the, show, I want the text to show up, and I'm going to hit OK. So you can see it's very dark. Um, so now I'm going to click on that that solid that solid color. I'm going to hit a T. That will give me my opacity. So I'm just going to try to find a, somewhere in there where it where it looks not too bad. And I could try that. It's about 71 percent. And um, I guess depending on what color my text is going to be. If it's, if it's going to be dark text, I might have wanted it to be lighter, so I might have to go back and change that. Um, and that or lower my opacity somewhat. I kind of wasn't thinking about it exactly. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I will. This will at least kind of die down the texture a bit. I'm going to I think I'm going to add a, um, a mask. Let's see, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do my text first. So let's, let's hit the text tool and type in whatever text that you need for this one. I'm going to do a, like a marriage thing. So let's do the names. Uh, let's see. Here, here. I'm going to call it wedding day. Something like that. Grabbing the select selection tool, put it in the middle. I'm hitting the shift and the selection tool to kind of make it a little bit different size. I'm going to hit the text tool again. I'm going to select that text. Um, I'm going to go down, I'm going to change the color. 
We'll try, I'll try out red color for now. See if that might work. Get a real vibrant color. Um, oh boy. That's causing some scintillation, I think. If I should try black, it does stand out. White looks good too. Yeah. Or I'll try white on this one. Uh, let's try to find a a, um, a font that's you know a little bit kind of like a wedding, maybe a little bit romantic. Uh, let's see. Just kind of looking around. Uh, well, blackjack looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'll make, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Get a little more letting. That looks good. Okay. Now, maybe I'll give that a mask. Uh, let's see. I'll click that solid. We're going to do the text tool, the pen tool, I mean. And I'm just going to try to draw somewhat of a heart. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. And after you kind of see it, you can probably see why. Okay. Okay, so that dark red, that would be my mask, I guess, now. So let's see, let's... I'm going to twirl my mask down here a little bit. I'm going to try to... I'm going to change it from add to subtract. Um, I think I'm going to do the opacity a little bit darker. Um, I'm going to twirl that down. I'm going to try the feathering. We talked a little bit about this before, so I'm going to try the feathering. I'll feather it out a little bit. And maybe we'll try the expansion. Move it in. And give it a little bit more feathering. I'm going to click off. See how that looks? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Although now, since I didn't use that background, I'll try, I will try going back to black. Oof. I don't know if that looks much better. Well, let's try, let me try adding another solid. To new, solid. We'll make this one a light color. Pick one of these colors in here. Kind of Make kind of an orangey color. There we go. We'll make it a little bit lighter. And I'll hit the T for opacity. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna put it under Right, if you move it, see where I'm moving it. I'm gonna move it under the the mask. Okay, where's my opacity? 35. I change it. Yeah, maybe to 58. That, that that helps. I think the the text to stand out a little bit better. Okay. Now I'm ready probably to, to mess with the text a little bit. And I think I'm going to try a preset on this one. And so we'll go up here, over here to the side. I've got the uh, animation presets. And, and I know I want text because I know a lot of the text ones will work. And I, I know blurs, they usually will have a little bit more of a uh, romantic feel. So... 
uh, let's see, I think evaporate is one that I, and I'm just going to click it and drag it over onto the text itself. Let's see if that did anything. I'm going to twirl my text over here and see. I do see some, do you see some keyframes? Whoa, sorry. And, and there we have it. Okay. Except, I think I want I want it to show up, the text to show up, and then kind of, or have it fade into it. So let's. I'm gonna see that. So I can't select these keyframes because I have to actually select underneath it. So I have to find them. Here we are, it's under the range selector, under offset. I found it. And I kinda wanna reverse this, because I want this to already show. Either that, or maybe I'll have it show. Let me make this a little bit quicker. Let me try to click that keyframe. Um, I'm gonna hit Command C. Try to copy it, or we can go up here and edit. Co oops. Have it, have it selected, edit, copy, move it over here, and edit, paste. It did work, okay. And then I think I want to hold that text where it is, so I'm gonna try to get on with this frame. So I'm gonna click on that frame, edit, Copy, edit, paste. Yep, Did that work. So if I have it reversed, I want to see that frame to be there. Is that right? And then this frame over here. So I'm reversing the frames. So it kind of fades in, holds, and then fades out. And save. 